Friends, how you doing? Crazy Baba here. I really appreciate you watching my video. Hold on a minute. What the hell did you say to me? Don't talk to me. I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, I, oh damn it, my phone's ringing. Hold on a minute. Yep, it's Crazy Bubba. What? Who is he? Oh, it's my man. It's my manager. Oh, listen here. I need for you to give me some uh, some assistance here. I'm trying to get people to subscribe to my videos and follow me and like me and whatnot. No, I want them to go to my website. No, they don't have to send me any. They don't have to send me any money. Not yet. <laughs> I got to suck them in first before I get... Hold on a second. Would you do something besides stare at me? I'm trying to make a video here. Good Lord. Uh, he hung up on me. Did I ever tell you about the limbo champion who walked into a bar? He lost. Hey, friends. Uh, Crazy Bubba here. Now, listen here. Uh, my wife went through her entire wardrobe, and she was trying on clothes that she hadn't seen in a long time. She says, look at this, honey. After 20 years, this still fits me. I said, yeah, but that's a scarf. Friends, crazy Bobby here. Now, my Uncle Billy done started another new business. Uh, I think he's hit on something that people haven't even thought about, but I think everybody can see the, the value in it. Uh, now what he does is he makes artificial weeds for plastic plants. <laughs> well, and then he said, I'm not going to give your money back. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Some kind of clown? Well, I guess I told him. <laughs> well, friends, my wife done drug me to another movie that I didn't want to see. Told her, I don't want to see that movie. She says, oh, come on, let's go. And so after we went to the movie, she says, that wasn't that bad. Now, was it? What do you think about it? And I said, well, it was kind of like eating a turd sandwich without the bread. Friends, crazy bubba here. You know, I told my wife, I'm thinking about getting an another tattoo. She said, oh, my God, you've got enough of those damn things. Well, if you're going to get one, why don't you just get it in a place where it doesn't really matter? So I thought about going to Oklahoma. Hey, friends, Crazy Bubba here. Uh, my girlfriend came in and said, have you seen the dog bowl? I had to think about that one for a minute. I said, no, I don't think I have. I've seen him play tennis. Friends, Crazy Bubba here. Went into a public restroom the other day, and somebody done scratched a little message on the stall door. Said, uh, uh, here I sit, all brokenhearted. Uh, came to shit and only farted. Thought, well, that's pretty poetic. So I thought, well, maybe I should add another line to that. Then one day I took a chance, tried to fart, and shit my pants. <laughs> Friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. Uh, my Uncle Billy has started a brand new uh, business. It's called the Hillbilly Gymnasium. And the way it works is you come over here to uh, our house and whatnot, and we got some activities for you, get you in the shape and everything, like uh, creek jumping and uh, uh, pig catching, tree climbing, and he's even got a special class for uh, feral raccoon bathing. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait to see that. We should make videos of that. Hey, friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. Now, listen here. We're getting ready for a big garage sale. <laughs> Selling a bunch of stuff that we don't use anymore. Uh, Puddin' came over here to give me a hand. He said, Puddin', you're going to put the pudding, put the prices on those things. We made out prices so that you don't have to keep telling people how much things cost and whatnot. What? Puddin', you can't. Nobody's going to give you $500 for your marble set. Oh, my Lord, Puddin'. You're as useless as a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. Folks, Crazy Bubba here. Now listen here. I saw me a documentary on how to make airplanes. Whoo! It was riveting. Friends, Crazy Bubba here. 
Now, I called my psychic the other day on the phone, and she said, Hello, who is this? Well, that's when I knew that she was a fake. Yes. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. He's real judgmental. Oh, I know. Listen, I know judgmental people when I see them. Yeah, I can tell if a person is judgmental or not just by looking at them. How you doing, folks? It's me, Crazy Bubba. Now, listen here. I bought me a new sweater. Woo! It had so much static electricity on it, I couldn't even wear it. I took it back to the store. I said, I can't wear this. And they said, well, let's see what's wrong with it. Said, oh, yeah, I see what the problem is. Well, guess what they did? They gave me a brand new one, free of charge. Well, when I was a little boy, I used to build sandcastles with my, uh, my grandfather, but then my mother took away his urn. Hey, friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. <laughs> now, listen here. I just got a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! And I want to thank you from the bottom of my fart. I, I... That's what it says, you, you idiot. I mean, heart. <laughs> well, I just wrote my first book on reverse psychology. Whatever you do, I don't want you to buy it. Friends, Crazy Bubba here. And I had a friend who's bald-headed. He had a bunch of rabbits tattooed on his head. <laughs> and I said, you know, from a distance, that looks like a, a hairline. Hey, friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. Now, listen here. Since becoming a YouTube sensation, uh, uh, I am a celebrity now. <laughs> uh, I got to be careful about the words that I use. Like, for example, uh, somebody might get the wrong idea if I tell them to throw me down the stairs my hat. My Lord, won't you people learn what words mean? Folks, well, pudding. He's back in the hospital again. It seems he drank an entire a glass of invisible ink. Took him more than two hours to see him. Friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. Now listen here. I took Puddin' to see the doctor the other day. And uh, he took a look at him. He says, now Puddin', I'll tell you right now, you're going to have to stop that masturbating. He says, well, what for? He says, because I'm trying, I'm trying to examine you. Friends, uh, well, Puddin' done, got himself a, a sprained right wrist. He was doing some donkey training, and uh, evidently that donkey bumped up against a fence post, and his hand was in the way, and whoo, swelled up real big. Well, there goes his love life for a few weeks. What do you call a... Puddin's dating phone ringing on a Saturday night. <laughs> a wrong number. Friends, Crazy Bubba here. Now listen here. Uh, Puddin's girlfriend, she come over to my house the other day. She started sweet-talking me and getting real close and batting her eyes and, and saying things like, Bubba, maybe we should get together, you know? And I said, but you're Puddin', you're Puddin's girlfriend. She goes, well... You know, you can never have too many boyfriends. And uh, I think you're very fascinating. I think we should get to know each other better. I said, what the hell are you talking about? You're my sister. Friends, Crazy Bubba here. My Uncle Billy has started another new business. He's selling watermelons now. Now listen here. He's buying them for $3 a piece. And uh, he's uh, taking them... Uh, and delivering them to people door to door and selling them for three dollars a piece. I thought, well, that's a pretty good price, you know. And after about six months of this operation, we did some uh, bookkeeping and whatnot. Found out that we wasn't making any money at all. Oh, I don't know what the problem is. I came up with what I thought was a good solution. What we need is a bigger truck. Uh. Hello, is this Dr. Bend Me Over? Dr. Bend Me Over? Hold on a second. I'm talking to my proctologist. Just stay out of this. Now, Dr. Bend Me Over? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was in there last week. Listen here. I think I found your ring. Friends, 
Got a riddle for you. What did the sushi say to the bee? Wasabi! Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense, does it? Friends, Crazy Bubba here. Now listen here. I saw a sign the other day on the road. It said, watch for children. Well, I thought that was a pretty good trade. Friends, got another riddle for you. What's about six inches long and about two inches wide that just drives women crazy? That would be money. Friends, how you doing? Crazy Bubba here. Now listen here. Did you know that you can buy just damn near anything at Walmart? Why, you can even get a haircut. The other day, a uh, pudding got a haircut. cost him 20 bucks. Well, it didn't really cost him 20 bucks. It, it cost him $5 for the haircut, and then he had to buy a $15 hat to cover it up for a few weeks. Well, my wife's mad at me again. She said I ruined her birthday. <laughs> I didn't even know it was her birthday. Uh, hello, is this my manager? Now listen here. I don't make... Hold on a minute. I don't like... I'm trying to talk to you. I don't mind making these videos and whatnot, but I want to get everybody to follow me and subscribe. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. And I need to get them to go to my website at crazybubba.com. And uh, what... So you need to help me out with this. Cause, hold on a minute. Would you be quiet? I'm trying to talk to my manager. Uh, hello, are you still there? Oh, listen. Now I want to make sure that that I uh, uh, I want to make sure that I uh, hold on. Hold, hold, somebody's trying to talk to me. Hold on a minute. What the hell do you want now? I'm trying to make a video and you're messing me up. Why don't you go eat some corn on the cob or something? Get the hell out of here. Uh, hello. Hello? He hung up on me!